What's up Stud City, it's Guys here, and today is going to be a little different type of video. I'm going to try something new, and hopefully we have some fun with it. So if you guys are interested in that, we're going to be starting an A-Fall series, where I'm going to go over a series of topics and just kind of explain some things, and just life as an A-Fall. I think it'll be fun, and uh, we'll see how this video goes, so comment below if this is something uh, you're enjoying. I definitely want feedback on this, so please give me feedback, good, bad, the ugly, whatever it may be. I want to hear it, so let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video and go over some of the topics we will be discussing. But as always, guys, before we do that, do me a huge favor, smash that like button, and subscribe if you are new. But let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So the first topic of today is going to be Lego themes. Now everyone has a different interest, right? And being an A-Fall, it's a variety of Lego themes. There's so many good themes and the list can go on and on. I'll just touch bases on some of the themes I see value in. So I am a Lego city builder. So that means I'm gonna be looking at a variety of sets that could be added to the city because I wanna make the city, city unique to me. Uh, one of the main themes that's gone into my Lego City has been the Creator Expert uh, series, the modular line. Uh, I started collecting Lego in around 2019, uh, sort of towards the end of it. Um, and my first modular was actually in 2021, which was the Assembly Square. So if you if you know me, you kind of know that. Uh, but think about it, January 1st, 2021, I haven't bought a Lego modular in actually months now. Uh, and I'm up to 11 Lego modulars, which is pretty awesome. So I essentially, I think it came down to owning 10 modulars within the first year of collecting Lego. So that was pretty significant. That really kickstarted my Lego City. Uh, and it overall was just crazy. I went on so many trips uh, tracking down retired modulars. I really wanted to collect as many as I could, as fast as I could, because the prices were increasing significantly. But I did an overall good job. I think I'm down to missing five modulars. Uh, three of those being probably modulars I'll never see as they are just extremely way too expensive. And it's just something I don't want to pay for because it's just too much money. You're, when, when you get into thousands of dollars for a, you know, a 4,000 piece set, it's, it's, at that point, it's a little bit uh, too ridiculous to be able to buy. But the other two that I pr plan on picking up are the detective office and the town hall. And I think those will be my last two retired modulars that I plan on getting for my Lego city. But aside from the Lego modular line, which is a great theme, there's a lot of other themes I've uh, incorporated into my lego collecting as well as my lego city uh one of the main themes would be is ninjago so i'm a huge ninjago fan uh at this point i'm going all in on ninjago i've ordered so many sets i've had so many sets from the theme uh, it's actually getting crazy uh, so i've decided to make ninjago my only theme uh kind of kind of <laughs> my only theme that i'm going to collect that i'm going to build to display on display cases uh, as as such, but uh, obviously I don't have any built Ninjago. Um, actually, there's a couple behind me. I have the Hydra Bounty, uh, as well as the Destiny's Bounty. The Destiny's Bounty is going to go into my Lego City. But back to my Lego City, guys. I have the uh, Ninjago City, the the City Docks, and the City Gardens, and those are like three of probably my favorite Lego sets that I own. They're absolutely amazing. It grabs your attention. Uh, it's just something so different, and I think that makes my city pretty unique. Uh, not a lot of people like enjoy ninjago i personally do i watch a show i'm in a you know on reddit and fan base i do i discuss it i have a lot of friends that enjoy uh ninjago so that's another theme i would like to add to the list that i'm you know significant significantly you know ecstatic about and just overall collector in that in that genre but going forward i also do collect a, a, a handful of speed champions i've been not building the new ones uh the eight stud wide ones because i find those uh, impossible to place in the city as they're just too big uh, but as far as the six stud wide ones i collected from 2019 to uh when they stopped doing it which was like i believe 2020 so i do basically have all of those lined up um some of them are still unbuilt but I have a bunch of the Porsches in my city and I do have some old, old ones. I can, I believe they're 2018 or 2017, but an overall great theme. And uh, if you're a city builder, some of those, the six stud wide ones really, really come in handy. But one of the probably last themes I kind of have in my Lego collection are the Brickheads. I think the Brickheads are great. I actually don't build the Brickheads, Georgiana. My girlfriend builds a handful of them, but essentially I like to keep them in the box and have them displayed in my room. It's just a personal thing. Uh, I honestly don't plan on selling them or you know flipping them or whatever you may think. I, I sincerely love looking at the boxes and just having them uh, displayed in my room. I think it's awesome. Uh, it's not something I really share uh, with my YouTube channel just because it's in my room and kind of like 
in the personal room, whatever it may be. But I think it's really cool and something different. But I'll also incorporate this where I ask you some of your favorite Lego themes uh, in the video. And you can comment that and make a list uh, in the comments below because I sincerely love reading it and seeing what other people enjoy. But I'm going to say those are like my top three or four themes uh, as of right now. I'm, I'm also going to do a, a, a Lego Ideas. I think um, that one is it's, it's kind of hard to base upon just because... Um, there's so many different sets in the Lego Ideas, but some of my favorite sets are from Lego Ideas. Uh, so that, that's a theme I have to throw in there. It's just not consistent, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's not a consistent theme where it's just like, hey, we're building buildings and this is the Lego theme. Uh, it's not like that, uh, but there's amazing sets that come and there's a lot of sets you've seen in my Lego City where uh, it's from the Lego Ideas line. But that's the last theme I'm gonna add. The next topic of interest, guys, for our AFAL series is I'm going to be discussing build time. So Lego build time, if you're an AFAL, you're extremely busy. I've jumped into this in my life, and it's very hard to find quality build time. Uh, it's a different story being a YouTuber, or Instagrammer, or TikToker, or, or whatever it may be, social media platforms, and building and doing live streams. But I'm just going to talk about actual build time and just strictly, you know, your personal time, uh, you know, whether you put it on social media or not. Just building and finding time for it, I find it's it's gotten challenging. It really has. You have to really plan ahead, and uh, you know it's definitely something to look forward to, and it definitely makes it brings you ease and kind of reduces your stress level. So I see why building is so significant to a lot of you, Apols, because it is such a relaxing uh, thing. But I think build time comes. You know, I don't really build. I never really build in the morning or anything like that. But it's always after work. Um, and just kind of a way to cool down. And I find that implementing that into my lifestyle has really uh, increased productivity throughout the work week. Uh, it just really lets go of some of my stress and just kind of a fun thing to do and something I enjoy. And I just, I personally love taking pictures after and showing off my builds, just something I personally am enjoying. But um, if you, if you don't, if you're not into that or whatever it may be, and you want to start doing that, uh, join the discord server there's a link in the description it's free uh you can share it with uh, a group our group of uh, discord members we have you know over 220 members and uh we're very positive people and we love to share our bills and whatever it may be in discussion of the lego topic so if that's something you're interested in a little self promo i guess but just as far as the building goes guys building after work uh in the nighttime, the evening time uh, it's it's relaxing, and I understand this is another thing. It's it's kind of summer in most in most states, especially if in the United States, um, especially in the Midwest. It's been extremely hot for the past like month and a half. Uh, for me, it's been like ninety plus degrees every day, and it's just been uh, it's been daunting from the weather. But uh, winter is coming, not winter, but fall. Fall is coming, and it's going to be so much cooler out, and uh, you have some outside activities as well as chances to build Lego, and it's just a total different vibe in my opinion. Having like you know, just a, like some coffee or whatever it may be, a cool drink, and just kind of chilling inside, building a Lego set. I think it's a great time, and I, I, I sincerely believe seasons affect your build style and whatever. If whatever if you catch my drift there, I think it's I think it's something different, and uh, I think fall is a great time to build Lego, and it's it's pretty exciting. It's fun stuff. So I'm I'm super forward looking forward to that. If uh, if you agree with me on a, a seasonal effect of building Lego, comment below because I'm actually curious. I feel like. A lot of building comes in the winter time or maybe the fall or maybe even spring just depends but i feel like summer is one of those dry months uh, you know three four months out of the year where it's just like i want to spend my time outside and you know i'm super busy there's just so much stuff to do i don't really have time to build lego so i see a lot of you know creators um they, honestly they take a break during the summer months and um i don't know i i, I don't think i could take a break because uh <laughs> I, I i love to build you know some awesome sets but uh, definitely slow down in the summer months. Um, but going forward, uh, the winter and fall, I think, are probably the most ideal times to just sit down, crank out a build, enjoy it. Uh, that's just kind of my opinion. So, again, leave a comment below. I'm, I, I want to know if it, that affects you as well. Uh, now, I know I only covered two topics in this video, guys. And I definitely made a planner and put a list of different topics that I wanted to cover in videos. Uh, and I'd like to make these videos longer and uh, just kind of, you know, between the 10 and 15 minute mark. But if that is something you are interested in and just kind of like enjoy listening to or have it on your background, please let me know. And I, I, I really want to continue this series and just kind of go over standard questions and uh, maybe I'll get a better scenic background <laughs> if you guys want to be more comfortable with that. Or, you know, I could throw up a green screen and 
do myself in the in the middle of the beach on a paddleboard or something whatever you want let me know in the comments below but i think this is a great topic and i think this is some of the things that's uh some of the things that should be you know talked about and uh, i'd like to hear input from you guys on some topics that you want to see and uh, maybe i'll cover two topics per video and uh, try to split it up kind of evenly you know four to six seven minutes each topic and kind of just say what i have to say about everything but I hope this uh, you found this video useful and insightful and uh, informative or entertaining and whatever it may be. I hope you found it enjoyable. So uh, I appreciate you for watching and uh, please do me a favor and comment if you want to see more types of these videos as I will be anticipating feedback. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, enjoy the Lego bloopers and we'll see you in the next A-Fall series. Series number uh, one, episode two. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. Stud City, out. <laughs> the next top of it. Scratch that. When I say I'm a Ninjago fan, and a Speed Champions fan, and a Lego Ideas fan, I kind of mean it. <laughs> I love these displays, guys. Also a little hidden Destiny Bounty. Been working on that bad boy. Just kind of hidden in my workspace. Different type of video coming today. Woo 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 woo. Let's do this. Evolve series.